All right, guys. So here we got a um. This is actually a Tesla M40, but this is a water block off a GTX Titan Maxwell edition. So because the M40 is based on the Maxwell architecture, it's essentially a GTX Titan, but it's a Tesla card, so it has no video output for monitors. So I just wanted to pull it apart and see if the GTX water block, which we have here. If this guy here would fit the um, Tesla M40. So, from my understanding, it should, it has everything there for it to work. I just gotta trans, uh, put some of the pads on the water block. Um, the, only re the only thing that I need to get still for the water block is just the fittings for it, because I don't actually have the fittings for it anymore. So, We'll have to find some fittings and then whack it on. It should cool this Tesla card. Now these, this is actually, so these Tesla cards come in both the 12 and 24 gig model. This is actually a 24 gig model. Now, stock, they're roughly about the performance of a 1070, except it has 24 gigs of VRAM. But um, if you overclock these, you can get them to around a 1080 performance with some heavy overclocking and very good cooling. But you can even go as far as getting custom biases for these guys, loading the biases on, because NVIDIA locked these to, a, I think, a max of 275 watt TDP power draw. So you can get custom biases that actually allow you to increase the TDP, which then you can overclock it past what NVIDIA has allowed. And people have gotten these to pretty crazy levels with adequate cooling so with water cooling I want to see what I'll be able to do with this card now to get these working on a gaming rig you're probably saying oh well how do you it's pointless for gaming it doesn't have any video outputs for your monitor yes it's true but you can do it in two ways you can either have the video outputs basically tunnel through a secondary GPU so this card will output the video the the pretty much the power of this card will output through a crappier GPU or if you've got integrated graphics you can set it up so it tunnels through the integrated graphics port on your motherboard and then you'll have all 24 gigs of VRAM the power of a GDX Titan for the price of a Tesla M40 so yeah, look, um, so the back actually has pads on it as well, and that's the back of the card there. So, no, 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 uh, where's the back? That's the back of the card there. So that's just like a little backing plate, which also has cooling for the VRAM. And the front, from what I can tell, I'm going to have to transfer some of these pads over to be able to use my water block, but from what I can tell, the the water block off a Titan is 100% usable off an M40. And I, I thought, it, there's no reason why it shouldn't because this is based off a GDX Titan card anyway. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. And you, you can see this Doc Tesla cooler. It's basically meant for rack mounted applications. So, yeah, blows through it. The top's actually covered, but you can actually probably remove these covers if you wanted to pretty much just stick a fan on top of it or something like zip tie a, zip tie a fan on top and then you can just have regular air cooling on it or people 3d print brackets that blow the air through and that's basically the top of that and then that goes on top of that so yeah let's see what don't know if, how many other people have water cooled a tesla M40, but I guess we'll see what happens once I get this cooler on and go buy myself some fittings.